Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Xbox controller is not recognized in Windows 11. So before we dive in into any solutions just make sure of the following. Unplug and replug the controller. You can restart the controller, do a full power cycle or physically detach it from your computer to totally reboot it and resolve many common difficulties. So just try unplugging and replugging the controller into the PC several times. Otherwise, you can also change the USB cable. In this case, if you keep seeing a notice saying USB device not recognized while trying to use an Xbox controller, it's possible that the problem is with your cable. So always make sure to try another cable so you can exclude this problem out. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update the USB driver. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. In the Device Manager window, just make sure to expand the Universal Serial Bus controllers and then right-click any problematic device and select the Update Driver option. In here, click on Search Automatically for Drivers and then wait until Windows will find the best possible driver for your PC. In the same time, you can apply this solution also in the Xbox peripheral section. So expand it, then right-click the Xbox controller you have and click on the Update Driver section. Just do the same with searching automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. In case the previous solution didn't work, in the same device manager window, just right-click the same Xbox controller and then click on Uninstall device. Now just confirm by pressing again on the Uninstall button and then simply restart your PC. The Xbox controller is at the moment uninstalled, but then when you restart your PC, Windows will try to reinstall the controller back again. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to update Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to scroll down until you find the Windows Update section and click on it. Now on the right side just click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC and install them automatically. After you restart your PC, check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Plenty of options to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.